Okay, so that is a good preventative thing. Um, and then if you start having GI later on in the, in the run, or you start getting stitches or cramps, um, you might want to back off on the calories and actually just take a little bit of water for a while because sometimes if you if you have too many calories and not enough fluid, your body can't process the calories and they just sit there and then like your muscles are demanding all the blood to work out and there's nothing to go to your stomach and actually process those calories. So just if you, again, usually if the stomach cramps, you can usually feel them starting to come on too. So just back off the pace a little bit. You may not have to walk. Start drinking water, okay, for the stomach cramps, okay, muscle cramps, sodium and water, okay? Good stuff. All right, I think I have one time for one more question. Better be a good one. <laughs> What's going on in your mind? I want to get out of here and have dinner. <laughs> Thank you. It's about time you spoke up. I've been picking on you all night. <laughs> Is it usually better to attack on, not really attack, but to push more effort on headwinds, or would it be more ideal to go faster with a tailwind? Another great question. See, there's all these good questions out here. Okay. Should you push harder into a headwind or push it on a tailwind? Okay. Good question, very very course specific. Um, sometimes I think about Davao, and I think, if I remember correctly, more 